Greetings viewers and welcome back to Just Short of Fantastic. I am here in bonnie old England in St. Albans in Flutery House, our bed and breakfast for the weekend. We're here to see the new Albion Cabaret and I'm so excited. The show is not until tomorrow, it's Saturday. So today we're going to hit up the Virilimium Museum, which St. Albans is famous for as an old Roman town. And then we're just going to do some shopping on the high street. We heard there's a market today, so that'll be exciting. And it's raining outside because England, but we are prepared and we're going to do our best to enjoy this day. So sit back, relax, and come along with me on our one short day, St. Albans. Whee! You can see behind us is a giant truck. No, um, you can see the farmer's market behind us. Yay! Not too many people about yet, but it's still early and it is quite gray and windy today. No rain yet, but that's coming this afternoon, so let's go. So we are making our way towards the museum and we can hear the bells. Yay! It's uh, getting on 11 a.m. and that's probably what the bells are for. Let's just enjoy. Right, that's enough of that. We have arrived at the Virolamium. Yay! So this is cute. See, if it weren't for this sign here, I saw the sign that says museum, and I was like, well, it's a museum, but we're in England, so it could be a museum for literally anything. Is it the museum we're after? And yes, yes it is. So the entrance is actually that way. Let's go. I came around the corner and I saw this woman and I was like, ugh. It's one of those museums. It says here that Vera Lamium has some of the best preserved wall paintings from Roman Britain. Ooh, very fancy. Okay, so we've just finished with the museum. You can see it behind us, we are leaving it. And it was very educational and I learned a lot. And now we are heading to the outdoor part, the Roman theater. Yay, so we've just got a small bit of a walk. It is starting to drizzle, but it's still okay. And we'll see that when we get there, yay. So here it is, all that remains of the Roman theater. That's pretty fancy. Ooh. I love that with the rainy weather, we basically have the place to ourselves now that the French tourists are gone. Hey! Oh my gosh, it's so cool to think that this has been here since like AD 100-ish, give or take, AD 100, 200, and that it's still here. Man, history is so fascinating. We're now standing at the back of the theater, looking towards the stage. That column is one of three, the only remaining column. And I've been reading the historical notes. They said that many towns in Britain were known to have Roman theaters, but this is the only one that can still be seen today. So that's pretty neat. So we are going to go to the Waffle House for lunch. I'm very excited. It's in an old water mill. It's quite busy, but we managed to get a table right away. We are so hungry, and the menu looks delightful. A lot of English breakfast tea for two. Oh, yes. It's the most wonderful time of the day. Tea time. So this is the Banoffee. It looks amazing. The beautiful street behind me, which you still can't see. Oh my god, that's a lamppost. If you'd like, I can grab your umbrella. No, it's cool. We're fine. Well, if okay. You, if you give it to me like this, I could have done that. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Teamwork. So we finished a delightful meal at the Waffle House. It was very good. And now we are just making our way back towards the high street and the market where we'll do a bit of shopping on this rainy Saturday. And look at this is a quiet English street. We found the bookshop. Yay! Books, 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 books. Okay, well we've done our shopping. We've just popped back to our B&B for a nice cup of Cadbury hot chocolate in my fancy B&B mug. Mmm, delightful. It has been a very successful shopping day. We're only halfway through it, 
but already I picked up a Roman spoon for my spoon collection, and I got a St. Albans Museum ornament for my Christmas tree. I picked up some Earl Green tea for myself and my coworker, and perhaps the most exciting thing of all, Elton John's autobiography, me. I'm very excited. Oh, and I also bought cards. So many cards. I can't show them to you because you might receive one. What excellent timing. We came back to the B&B &B and it has started to pour outside. Feels as though we got quite lucky with our timing and the weather today. We went out for a little bit more shopping. I bought so many things. Oh my gosh. Um, we have settled on an Indian restaurant for dinner. I love these little windows throughout the restaurant. It's very fancy. And I'm awaiting my chicken makani, which is what I order every time I go to an Indian restaurant. And that way I know how to appropriately rate each restaurant that I eat at. Back off, man. I'm a scientist. And after a, I was gonna say very good dinner, but it wasn't very good. <laughs> um, <laughs> ooh. After a satisfying, it's a good word, Indian meal, we're back in our B&B &B for an evening tea. I'm having ginger chai and it is delightful. We're enjoying our tea, we'll have some light snacks, I'll do a bit of reading, and then I think we'll be calling it a day. Although the weather was a bit cool and wet, that did not stop us from fully enjoying this one short day in St. Albans, England. I hope that you've enjoyed coming along with me, and until next time, stay just short of fantastic.